this piece has to be about the embitterment of mankind and the great souls that have come down to the planet that have made a difference. Because we have to honor and remind people that there are other souls that make a difference, like the Buddha, like Mother Mary, like Mahatma Gandhi, you know, like Moses, you know, like the Abrahamic religions, you know, Isaac and Abraham, you know, like this, you know, instead of the wars that are fought over that territory, let's talk about the, the love and the compassion um, that all of these people have, from Mohammed all the way down, that they've all spoken about. Aspects of every religion have a commonality of love one another, care for one another, be kind. Okay, so how, how am I going to take these instantly recognizable, iconic people that people, people of the world pray to and do it in an honorable way that doesn't offend, that honors the statement and what that person at that time in the world meant and has still to this day means to millions of people, but not, but integrate that in my sculpture so that it has the flow and it speaks to all humanity at that time from the child to mankind, to, to man and woman. And, and the, why are all these flowing natural forms? It's because the unification of man is not separate from nature. I mean, that's really what the, what, why I make these abstract fig forms is that the, there's a, we are not separate from nature. We are a part of our nature, a part of nature, and only our mind separates us from nature. Let's make it more narrative. Let's put the great souls that have come and really affected humanity into the piece. And it was, a, it was a challenge. It was really hard. I was terrified to make Mary and Buddha and Gandhi. And really, yeah, I mean, terrified, like, oh my God. But it was like, wow, am I going to be able to do this successfully? And I think I really did. And then Mahatma Gandhi of, of peace and, you know, and nonviolence and equality, you know, um, and courage. Oh my God. Here's this frail, skinny guy who's just going up against the great holy British Empire and he changed the world through his steadfast belief in human nature is kind and human nature can be, aggression can be solved through peace or non-aggression. You know, I mean, there's a million more people. I mean, what, why isn't MLK in here? Why isn't, it wasn't about all of the great souls. It's about, let's pick a few that we can wrap our hands around.